very, very fun and very unique. If you haven't seen a full carbon fiber bell, or in this case, a partial carbon fiber bell, stay tuned to this video and I'll tell you a little bit more about the DeCarbo Unica. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. I think it's over there somewhere. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers and once we hit 10,000, it's gonna be super fun for all of us and all of you. Um, thanks again for your great support of the shop. We get so many cool horns in the shop. This is another one. We actually have two of these DeCarvo uh, Unica trumpets. Now, they make two models of the DeCarbo trumpet. This one is the lower priced model, which is equally fun. It has a partial carbon fiber bell, and you can see you can actually detach it there. Um, and this one is um, handmade in the Swiss. You can, you want to hear a dead bell? Check this out. You know, deadest bell you'll ever see. But it's nice and light. The body of the horn is quite robust, however, and that sort of balances it off. And then the other one that you'll see, like if you uh, checked out Roy Hargrove's last horn that he played uh, a few years before he passed away, he was playing the, the full carbon fiber DeCarbo trumpet. This, um, this one, like I said, is slightly lower priced and just beautiful. We have a lacquer version in stock as well. We'll actually put both links on this video so you could choose. Um, I think they both play equally well and they're very, very, very fun. They're really efficient and, and centered. One of the better playing trumpets we've had in the shop, for sure. Um, most people would say, oh, well, this is a soloist horn, someone who's playing you know, commercial or jazz music. And I, I think there is something to be said about that. Uh, but it will be play a fair amount of classical music. So you just heard a little bebop at the beginning. Um, all of these clips are raw and unedited. I'm gonna play a little bit more, like a ballad on this horn sounds great. So here's a little portrait of Jenny. Tons of, tons of fun and lots of sound color options. But you say, well, man, I gotta play, you know, some solo repertoire. It would be fine for that too. Here's some Halsey Stevens. And you can even play something a little bit more broad and robust. Here's a little pictures. So it's a lot more versatile than you might think. Although, yeah, there might be other choices that you would probably want to use if you were going to win the orchestral gig. You walk into an audition with a carbon fiber bell, they might go, hmm, 
and it will pop nicely. Here's, um, you're gonna use, just to show you, I don't play this mouthpiece that much anymore. I actually do most of my stuff on my ACB3C these days, but here's the TAZ. Let me see if I can zoom in that. Oh, there we go. It's a commercial mouthpiece and it will zip. So it has the potential to, to carry as well. So that's a little quick tour of the Takarbo. We have another video, which again, we're gonna link that in the um, captions up here. We're very fortunate to have two of these, so you can pick and choose whether you want the silver one like this or the lacquer one. So stay tuned with us. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe right there, and we will see you again soon on another video. Take care, everybody, and thanks so much.